Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, just making the decision to kind of just start a new beginning, um, and, you know, just try a new thing. And uh, really it was just the fit, the right fit. Uh, I felt, you know, Lane Kiffin's offense would fit me, um, you know, with losing three big time receivers. Um, you know, you look at it and it's just really the perfect opportunity. Um, and, you know, I'm here to make the best out of it. You were one of the kind of early guys to announce it. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think so. You know, this is definitely a hot spot in the transfer portal right now um, with all the guys that we're bringing in. We, you know, we're still looking for more guys. And, you know, and I think the transfer portal is something that is here to stay in college football, definitely. And I think that, you know, uh, something that we benefit off of. And I think, you know, just the morale around the team. Um, is really good with the transfer portal because you know you're bringing on all these different guys and I think that's what makes it so special is that we're all connected um, and that we know uh, what we have to do and that's you know eventually get to the college football playoffs um, and I think everybody sees that common goal and that's what we want to do. Um, yeah you know it's kind of if you look at it um, you know I, I think I think my game's kind of similar to Elijah Moore. I know he's a big time player and he was a big time player here. Um, and, you know, just putting me in those different positions uh, like they did with Elijah Moore. Um, you know, you've seen him in the backfield a little bit. You've seen him outside. You've seen him line up in the tight end spot some. And uh, I think that's definitely one way that I could be utilizing. You know, that was kind of eye grabbing to me. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much what Lane preached. Kind of asked all receivers that have come in, obviously, put the quarterback down with Dorton. Yeah, you know, I think it's I think it's a very tight race. Um, I think either one could be the starting quarterback tomorrow. Um, if we had to line up tomorrow and play another team, I think either one could start. Um, you know, it's been a very tight race, and I think uh, you know just coming out and seeing the spring game on Saturday, um, I'm really excited for that for both of them to get out there and kind of you know do their own thing a little bit and uh, you know see a little bit of both of them. So. Um, you know, they're, very, they're, they're both very different uh, in their own ways. I think, um, I think Jackson, he's, uh, I want to say that he's kind of a little bit more relaxed a little bit, um, you know, as far as his personality, uh, his personality and uh, Luke's kind of, Luke's kind of goofy a little bit. So, but if you look at their game, um, I think they're very similar in their game. There's not very many differences. Um, I think they both throw a really good ball. They both make really good reads. Um, you know, they're both big time quarterbacks. Uh, you know, I, I'm a little banged up, but I think I'll be out there for the spring game uh, this Saturday. Uh, just really trying to stay healthy. Uh, that's pretty, pretty much, you know, with, with any sport that you play, you're, you're going to have injuries, you know, some minor tweaks here and there. Um, but it's a good thing it's spring ball right now. and. Uh, you know, everybody's just trying to stay healthy and, you know, get ready for the fall. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think it's I think it's really challenging just because, like I said, we lost three receivers last year, um, three really big time guys. And, you know, I think that uh, we got to have other guys step up, like you said, new guys, really. Um, you know, so it's been, it's been a really big challenge for us, um, you know, just trying to find guys who can step up and make plays because a lot of the guys in the room haven't played. Um, and, you know, with Mingo being injured like he is, uh, you know, we got to find guys to step up. You got to play against the Ole Miss last year. Um, did. did that kind of make your, your decision a little easier? Did you get to kind of see it in person? Um, you, know, it, you know, if you really look at it, I was looking more at the defensive yeah. side. You know, looking at the scouting report and things like that. Um, but, you know, just watching a little bit, you kind of got to see their offense and how powerful their offense really was um, from the sideline. So I think that um, I think that kind of helped a little bit. Towards Saturday, what are you looking to accomplish or share your teammates and coaches? Yeah, you know, I definitely, uh, I definitely want to prove myself, not only to the uh, – not only to the, the, the coaches and the players as well, but to the fan base, you know, because I think that the, the fans are kind of questionable right now on, you know, just a lot of the things because we've lost a couple 
of guys that are big time guys, uh, one being the quarterback. Um, and, you know, I think the fans are really kind of anxious to get out here and see kind of what the team looks like um, in full go. I know we've had a couple open practices, but I think that uh, I think that we're going to come out here Saturday and put on a show. But